Okay, so now moving on to the next section, um, I just wanted to talk briefly about uh, the guild management system and, and other features of Canon Exchange. So the guild management system that you've just saw from Leo's video is all going to be through Canon Exchange. Um, you go to Canon Exchange, you connect your wallet, and then there will be a page for it. Uh, there's a few other features of the Canon Exchange um, that we've released throughout the last, uh, I guess, year of developing. Um, some of them include being able to purchase S uh, Canon NFTs using SNS tokens. Uh, there is the swap function where you can swap SNS, SOL, and USDC. And then there's also the leaderboard. So you can see the leaderboards and see who's uh, who's the top earner. Or you can't really see who, but you can see the wallet addresses of the top earners, um, the top performers in terms of approved utterances. And then you can also see um, the SRI uh, leaderboard, which is Senesis Relevancy Index. This is what um, we mean by the the whole how many times your words uh, on your Canon NFTs used. So this SRI ranking is pretty much a ranking of all the 10,000 words that are in the Aquarius collection. And we rank them by the frequency of usage and uh, the passive income. Um, the amount of passive income is different for each Canon NFT uh, based on the ranking. Right now, the SRI ranking is not available. It's not. It has not been built yet. Um, so that will be a feature that's coming soon. And so now let's discuss a little bit about the tokenomics. I think there's a lot of uh, questions oftentimes when it comes to. Uh, the whole token economy of uh, what happens on Senesis One. So I've I put together a very very simple example. Um, starting with any companies that need data or data processing, such as labeling or annotation, um, they will they will put a budget for the campaign they want to run. So right now you see Mind AI, they have a, a need for these natural language um, data. So what they do is they go in as an architect, they create the campaign, and then they would set a budget. So if you look here, it's let's say they put in a budget of $100. The budget goes into a smart contract that's associated with the campaign. And from that $100, $90 goes to all the builders and validators who participate in uh, the entire utterance collection and the validation. $8 of the $100 goes to Synesis One um, as part of the platform fees. And then $2 goes to Canon NFT holders as the passive income that I just talked about uh, regarding the whole SRI feature. So these these values here are notated in dollars figures, but these are all um, pretty much uh, transacted in SNS. So you know, uh, if you look, it's it's pretty much a 90-10 split between uh, the digital workers and Synesis One as a platform fee, and then in that 10% that comes to Synesis One, 2% of that goes to uh, Canon NFT holders as passive income. So going on to Canon, more information about Canon NFTs. So if you own a Canon NFT, you have two main uh, ways to earn. Uh, I split it as active income and passive income. Active income just refers to pretty much the ability for you to stake a Canon into um, into the system and participate in 
train to earn. So it's not you joining a, a necessarily joining a guild uh, by borrowing one, but just self-staking. Passive income is uh, there's two two parts. So as a Canon NFT owner, you can lend out your Canon NFT to builders and validators. So you're not necessarily doing the work as an active uh, builder or validator, but you're um, participating and collecting passive income uh, through your guild members. The other method is uh, passive income through SRI, which is the Synesis Relevancy Index. This is the passive income you earn from how frequently your words are, are used by um, systems like MindAI. So there's multiple benefits uh, and not just you know the whole accessing of the train to earn system. Now moving on to SNS. So SNS utilities is something that's um, always mentioned in, in Discord and um, in our community conversations. So right now the the biggest utility for SNS is the whole uh, token economy um, and the token flow that you saw in the first slide, which is the company's set campaigns and the rewards all in SNS and all the rewards um, are all distributed in SNS. So this is the main utility. Uh, this is the core, uh, I guess, use case of um, the entire platform. So that's that's uh, that's probably going to be the biggest um, usage of the token. And the more um, companies that we onboard, it's going to be the same thing, where uh, all of the the campaign budgets are in SNS, and then rewards are all distributed in SNS. And then soon uh, we'll have SNS. Uh, only rooms in BMC's casino game. So this might be a confusing sentence for a lot of our new members, but BMC is a, a gaming company that was a sort of spun off from Synesis One. So when Synesis One first started, uh, we wanted to launch a bunch of um, different Web3 games, and this would be a way to keep our uh, community engaged, grow the community, um, and then also have them participate in Train to Earn. But um, last year, in around March, uh, we decided to spin that off into its own entity. But it still retains all of the, the mechanics that we envisioned, um, which is all of the games released through BMC will use SNS tokens. So the first game that we're, we'll be launching with uh, BMC is a Web3 casino. The development for that is almost finished for the uh, Solana Dapp Store, so it should be available for Saga phone users um, pretty soon. Uh, and then after we launch that, we'll probably start launching um, special, let's say, slot rooms that take SNS only that maybe have a better uh, winning percentage and winning rate. And then um, there, we're also going to be working on workspace gamification features that require SNS. So if you've used our mobile app before, you'll see that there's a lot of uh, different things that uh, different buttons and uh, inventory and all of that, that's all coming soon. So all of that will be a part of the whole gamification effort and many of these um, will have, uh, you know, things where you can unlock with SNS or you can earn more SNS um, and so on. And then later on, more more uh, long term down the line, um, we could possibly do merch marketplace. So I know uh, if you see on this slide, you see some of the merch that we have. Um, this was this is very like like not much not many people have it like i don't even think any of the team members have any of these these merch um it's it was given to 
uh, most of our OGs, and we've also ran competitions before where the winners would get some of the merch uh, boxes. So um, we've had some demands uh, of some of the merch. So uh, maybe later on down the line, we can have them up for sale with SNS. Uh, and then there is currently SNS staking pools that are live at staking.snss.one. Um, these provide a pretty good APY. Um, and then right now we're also brainstorming uh, builder and validator only staking pools that we can launch in the future. So some staking pools for SNS that's not available uh, for, to the public but only to our digital workers. So that's that's something that could be coming. And then obviously as BMC launches more games, um, there will be more SNS integrations to these uh, different games that we launch. Yeah, so that's that's covers most of, uh, or all of the topics that we've uh, wanted to discuss uh, and we can now move on to, I guess, the community questions. 